Hi, today we are going to be teaching you how to do economic dynamics. Welcome to Shurasar's classes. We are given the following marginal revenue functions. Let's start with the first one where r dash q equals 28q minus e to power 0.3q. Now in each case we need to find the total revenue function rq and what initial condition can you introduce to definitionize the constant or integration. Let's see how to do this. To do this we need to integrate the function that has been given to us that is rq equals to integration of 28q minus e to power 0.3q dq that comes to 14 q square minus 10 by 3 e to power 0.3 q plus c. The initial condition that is required is r 0 which equals to 0. Now we set q equals to 0 in r q. Let us see what we find the answer. We find that r naught equals to minus 10 by 3 plus c thus c equals to 10 by 3. Now replace it in in this function or equation we get and this is the final answer for A. Now we are going to be doing B. Over here we are given another revenue function that is R dash Q equals to 10 1 plus Q. Let us do it in a similar manner. R Q equals to integration of 10 into 1 plus Q to the power minus 2 dQ which comes to but but before proceeding further for our ease let u equals to 1 plus q therefore du by dq equals to 1 or du equals to dq now putting this into our original equation we find that r q equals to 10 integration u to power minus 2 du equals to 10 into minus u to power minus 1 plus c. Now putting in the original values minus 10 into 1 plus q to the power minus 1 plus c. This is our obtained equation. Now again we will find r naught equals to 0. Thus, we have 0 equals to minus 10 plus c or c equals to 10. Thus, we find that r q equals to minus 10 by 1 plus q plus 10 which is equals to minus 10 plus 10 plus 10 q by 1 plus q giving us 100 by 1 plus q sorry it will be 10 q by 1 plus q moving on to a much more difficult question now in the next question we are given the marginal propensity to import that is m dash y equals to 0 0.1 and the information that m is equals to 20 and y is equals to 0 is also given. Now we need to find the import function my. Let us see how to do that. my can be written equals to integration of 0 0.1 y plus into dy which comes to 0 0.1 y plus c. This is because m dash is nothing but a derivative of my. 
let us find the value of C. For initial conditions we have 20 equals to 0 0.10 plus C giving us C equals to 20. Now putting this in this equation we get it as my equals to 0.1y plus 20. Pretty simple. Let us do number b in a similar manner. Now in the next case we are given the MPC or marginal propensity to consume that is c dash y plus equals to 0 0.8 plus 0 0.1 y to power minus half and the given information is that c equals to y when y is equals to 100. Now we need to find the consumption function. The consumption function similarly can be written as cy equals to integration of the MPC function which is 0 0.8 plus 0 0.1y to power minus half dy. This comes to 0 0.8y plus 0 0.2y to power half plus c. Now from the side information that we are also given we can write 100 equals to 0 0.8 into 100 plus 0 0.2 into 100 to the power half or the value of c comes to be 18. Thus We put the value of C in this equation after which we obtain Cy equals to 0.8y plus 0.2y to power half plus 18. Very simple. Then let us do a sum which is not simple at all. But it is easy to do, do not worry. Over here we assume that the rate of investment is described by the function i t equals to 12 t to the power 1 by 3 and that k naught equals to 25. Now we need to find the time path of capital stock k. How to do this? k t is nothing but integration of this function which is 12 t to power 1 by 3 d t which comes to be 9t to the power 4 by 3 plus c. Since k naught is equals to 25, therefore we have 25 equals to 9 into 0 plus c, giving us c equals to 25. Similarly, like the last question, we put the value over here, giving us 9 t to the power 4 by 3 plus 25. Let us do number b. We need to find the amount of capital accumulation during the time intervals 0, 1, 1, 3 respectively. I will clear the screen so that you can see the question while you do the sum. For this we will use the kt condition that we obtained in our earlier question. In this question for 0 and 1 we need to do a very simple process. We will just put the values 0 and 1 respectively that is k1 minus k0 or k0 equals to 9 t to power 4 by 3 1 0. Since it is a definite integral we do not consider the part c in this and this comes to 9. Similarly, for 1 and 3, we will do k3 minus k1 equals to 9 into t to power 4 by 3, 3, 1. This equals 9 into 3 into 3 to power 1 by 3 minus 1. And this is the answer that we obtained. With this, we come to the end of another video. In the next one, we will try different new pro problems. For example, we will try on phase diagrams 
and many more. Click on the like, subscribe and see our other videos for such wonderful sums and their very easy explanation. Thank you for being a part of Shoresar's classes.